Hello to everyone. This is Joanna, and I went back to Bath & Body Works today. I um, did an exchange. I had that little wiener dog as a free item, and I didn't really want that. I was just in a hurry when I got it, and I ran back and got something, and I went back and exchanged that free item. What I actually did last night, the first thing that I did was I called the store and had 10 of these held. I got 10 of these, and that was $12 because they are 5 for 6 this was my free item, this linen and lavender spray. I really like this scent a lot. Then I believe with those pocket bags, I saw these and I purchased two of these. And this one is called Sweet Baby. And I was trying to make sure it didn't smell like the old baby. I already had something on my hand, so I can't tell if it's unscented or lightly scented. But the old baby one, I have a few of those. I'm not crazy about it because I was hoping it was going to smell like the lavender um, baby powder, and it didn't. The next thing that I got is, I think, this right here, and this little item is $4.75, and then this mask right here is $4.95. So I may have gotten one of these pocket bags with this, um, and then the free item that I got again was that little wiener dog. And what I took that and exchanged it for today while I was in the store was this candle holder here. And I don't have any of these candle holders. This is just their simple pedestal candle holder. And they both ended up being $10.50, but you know that you can get a free gift up to $14. Um, I was about to get something else. Um, I did go in for a wallflower plug. I got that. Um, I forget what else it was that I was going to get. Um, oh, I wanted to get that Eiffel Tower, but that was $22.50, so I didn't get that. And if I would have known about those, they did not have those in our store when you bought one, got one, because that would have been a good chance to get that. Um, so I ended up seeing this, and I got this, because I don't have any of these. I may get a few more of these, because $10.50 isn't bad. So I'll definitely get one so that I'll have a pair, and I may get an extra one or so. But these are very pretty to display your candle on. These would be like your simplistic, elegant, you know, just a normal, regular pedestal candle holder that's both um, pretty and practical and, you know, it's sort of like um, just something that's good. It's basic and it's very pretty. So that's what I got from that. And I'm going to share with you what else I got. Now, I did want to speak a little bit more on the rest of my purchase. This was the Hyaluronic Acid Mask, the gel sheet mask that they didn't have um, when they were having the um, get a free item prior. So they had this in there last night, and I got it. And you always hear me say I don't like these masks, but I keep trying them. Then they had this cute little pocket bag holder. Now, how I saw this was... Miss Myra and Kyla's channel. Um, I was looking at one of their haul videos and I had made a comment that they didn't have these here and that they were sending me on the hunt down. And when I was in there last night, they happened to have had some, so I got one. And this too has a nice simplicity to it that I really do like. This is a great thing to give someone as a gift. Your little pocket back fits down in here, you know. And I wouldn't put anything else in here, but if you had like a dollar or a five or something, it looks like you could maybe slide a little bit of money down in there, but I wouldn't do that unless this thing is clipped to you. What I do like about these kind of clips, because I made a comment before that I prefer these kind of clips to the rubber clips, is depending on what kind of a jacket that I have on when I'm at work, because when it's colder, you know, I wear a heavier duty jacket. If there's a little um, hole in the zipper section, and I do have one jacket that this fits into. While my jacket's zipped up, I have one of these connected to it. They're not that heavy, but I really do like this. And I would not have known about this one in particular um, beforehand if it wasn't for Miss um, Myra and Kyla. So I thank you ladies for that. Because if these were even in the store before I didn't see them, I do go looking for the pocket bags, but I'm very happy that after I saw their video, they were in there. Now, what I did today was several things. I even did my little on my way out the door, then I buy something, you know, and I got this. Now, I already have about six of these candles. I even did a giveaway with this candle and some of the matching items that came with it. I believe there was a pocket bag holder. There was um, the different candle holder. The one that I gave away with this was on a stand. 
and I think there was the mist sleeve. I really, really love this. And the only reason I got this is because I burned one. I have six of these. Um, I might have seven. This might make number eight or this might make number seven. I burned one and I replaced it. I have six of these in the little candle holders, but I just love the look of this. However, this right here, I'm not keeping. The candle I am keeping. This holder, I just thought it would be nice to get an extra one for a giveaway that I might do. But these are very pretty together, and I love the way that these look when the light hits them just right. So, this was the purchase today for $13.86, and this right here was the free item. Actually, I said that backwards. I did get that candle. This was the free item that came with that candle. I know at this point it don't really matter, but I did get these two together, and I like to kind of show you what I got together. This oil right here is the Coco Shea Coconut Hair Serum. This is for use in the hair. However, I flat iron my hair. This is not an oil that I believe I can use prior to that because if it's not a heat type serum type oil and you just put oils in your hair, it's recommended not to use heat on your hair because it can fry it. So I don't have a relaxer anymore and that's where that poses a problem. I can't just slap oil in my hair like I would like to. The reason I purchased that is if you'll remember, I hauled this um, maybe a couple of months back um, when I went to TJ Maxx. And I spoke of getting this oil right here for the hair. This is Hey Hobo Oil. It says moisturizes, cleanses, and repairs, and it's by Province Beauty. And it says instant body moisturizer. Now, when I hauled this, I intended to try this in my hair. I also intended to mix it in with my lotion like if you'll remember I said not in the bottle but what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of lotion in my hand and then put about three or four drops of oil and then I will take that oil and I will rub it in you know in the lotion and then apply it to wherever I'm going to apply it like so I didn't want to waste that little drop but what happened was one day my nails were dry like I've complained about and you know you've heard me complain about the tips being um, very dry and peeling. I was off those four days as you know I'm off Monday through Thursday and that day I was sitting here at the table I had my polish off and I just decided to put a drop on each nail you know and I rubbed it in and I did that all four of those days just once a day and I noticed that my nails looked a little bit different you know they did look more moisturized and over the course of time when I would take my polish off sometimes it'd be every time I took my polish off or the entire time that I was at home I would use this or even just like if I changed my polish once or twice that week I put it on my nails once or twice sometimes I'd slather it on leave it on for a bit, go take a bath, and other times I would rub it in at night before bed. But this stuff has been phenomenal for my nails. So much so that when one of my little bottles of oil gets empty, I plan on putting some of this in here. It makes it easy for the dropper. This has not touched my hair for that reason. I still don't know if it's a good hair oil because it has really helped my nails. And you know that I love and swear by my bare oil products. I still like them. But it's almost like this is a heavy duty version of this. And I mean the peeling that was at the tips even when I would trim them is gone. So if you guys get your hands on this, Province Beauty Hey Hobo Oil, this was at TJ Maxx. I think I might have paid like $11 and look how huge that is. Because I'm only using it on my nails, I'm going to have it for a while. So sorry about that, but back to Bath and Body Works. The next thing that I got was this was the candle that I was talking about that I liked and I couldn't remember what it was. It was Lakeside Sunrise because I think they have another candle with lake in it and I really did like the smell of this. It was soft and fragrant and I thought it smelled so good in the store and it says sparkling bergamot, pristine blue waters, sugared citrus and creamy sandalwood. And to me, this is kind of a basic scent, and I do like that, because sometimes I like to light a candle just for the sake of lighting a candle, and I'm not really looking for smell. Like, if your power goes out, I don't really want to burn my best candles during that time, and I also don't want to burn one I dislike, because you need it for the power being out. But this was the free item that I got with that. This was the one lone um, one that I spied when I left. But turns out there was another one hanging somewhere else. And when I left, I said, I wish I would have saw that instead of that little wiener dog. So I ended up getting this. And then I got another candle. 
And that was this pink apple punch. I don't think I've ever gotten this candle. I don't think I paid attention to it. Last night I happened to have smelled it when I was looking at the one that I said that I wanted. This one says green apple juicy honey crisp pink melon punch. And it smells really good. I like this a lot. This would be something that I would probably burn that first cool night in September or early October. And I will say this, guys, I know that I had mentioned the new stuff in the store going on sale for $7. I mean, it did. And I'm kind of familiar with the store a little bit now. I did ask them after a lady asked about a coffee candle and they told her that they didn't have any. These were two new young girls. There was one on the other side. By the time I went and got it and brought it back over, they looked at me like I was nuts and the woman was gone. But that woman could have had that candle. She just wanted a coffee candle and they had one intense coffee one. Um, but I happened to ask one of the other ladies on the other side about the new candles and we were talking and she said, we've got them in the store now. We just can't bring them out yet. She said, we can't even play with them or, you know, smell them. They can't open anything up, which means they're probably going to do like they did when that banana muffin candle came out back when they had, what was it? French toast and all that. Remember how those candles came out? Almost like that nearly last week of July, like I think that weekend before the last week of July. So I think that's why this candle sale here for $12.95 is lasting as long as it is because they're trying to push those candles out. Because even that little magic in the air, and you know they always leave that out of the sale, and they've got that in the sale now very suddenly and they need to let it go and just keep it in a sale because it got released what almost two Christmases back but I think that's why because usually when they do a candle sale I've noticed they cut off that Saturday because I'd be mad because that's when I'm back at work and I can't do anything until after work so I believe that they're going to bring out the fall candles if not that weekend before the last week then they're going to bring them out that last week but she said that they definitely have the blueberry one they've got that peanut brittle one she didn't mention any that they don't have yet and I know a lot of people I watch on here are in test area so with this candle what I got for free was this little cup right here at first I wasn't interested in these cups and I thought I'd get one and it appears to be tin or metal or whatever it is. I'm glad it's not glass. I worry about breaking things. So, And it was only um, this one and another one. And I chose this one over that one. It says, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And I don't know what the other one was. Because there, there were a couple that I could tell were missing. But I didn't care. I just thought it would be cute to have a Bath and Body Works candle. I just wish it had Bath and Body Works on it somewhere, even on the inside. I wish that they would make their own little mug, you know. And the fact that these were reasonably priced for $12.50 and they didn't pull them out for the sale, I decided to get this for free because I always get the same thing. I get a wallflower plug. I get body care. That oil in this and the candle holders are about as different as I've ever gone. So I think the last thing that I have to share with you is my pocket bags that I got. And they have a few new ones, but I didn't get a lot of them. Some of the unicorn ones were just repackaged. Like one of the unicorn ones said sweet as strawberry or something like that. And you know they have that one with the dog, which I think those are wonderful for animal lovers. And I know that that strawberry scent is good for the little girls that like the unicorns. But I'm going to share with you what I got. Some of them are repeats of the same thing. And maybe one or two of them might be new. I've really forgotten, but we'll see. Now, in this purchase, they did give me two of these crate holders, and they put my pocket backs in one of them. Because I did mention that I've been buying candles, but I got nowhere to put them. I literally, guys, am putting these bags right here over by me. Um, I have no more room in my closet. My candles are stacked 20 crates high side by side. And if I put one more crate up there, I'm going to come home and I'm going to have a broken glass mess. So I got nowhere to store this stuff, which is another reason I need to curb my shopping. So I'm going to share with you the pocket bags that I got. And this will be the end of my stuff. So I did purchase another one of these. And I got these pocket bags. And then my free item was another one of these. Again, thank you to Mrs. Myra and Kyla. So if I can, I might go back and get at least three more of these. Because if I give one of these away, y'all know what that means. I'm going to have to multiply. But I did get one more um, Isla Margarita. I haven't used the two that I have. And I don't think I've given one away. If I did, I'll replace it. This fragrance right here might be the fewest of these that I have. I'll either say I either have three or four. 
and I might have three because I'm feeling like I gave one away. I did get one more perfect beach day even though I prefer blue but I just gave one of these away and then at work I gave away a pool side daydream and I gave away a vanilla yesterday. It was my intent to get two more of each of these but I think I have enough because this one is the newest one. This one I have a couple in green. And I got one more Your Magic, just because I like to have at least two pocket backs. And then if I like um, more, that's how I get more. But I have so many pocket backs that this medium Bath and Body Works bag that they have, I probably have enough. Well, I've got somewhere in my closet four pocket backs, four of those medium bags full of pocket backs. And I got one over there on my couch. Um, so... This was it. This was everything I got. And I believe that I am done until the fall candles come out. You guys never hear me say anything about a no buy simply because as soon as I utter those words, something will come out that I want. And I want everything. Even if I have too much of something and a new fragrance comes out that I have to have, I might just get a cream or a lotion in it so that I have one thing, even though I might want more. I have to get one thing in that, and I will never say, and for those of you that do do the no buys and you stick to it, kudos to you. I would try that, but I know me better than that. There's no point in me even attempting it. And I really do need to stop. I have been taking a lot of pocket bags to work and giving them away. And it doesn't even put a dent in my collection. And that's how I mess around and get these. I'll start off with one or two. I'll give one away. And like with that cotton candy one, I believe that is the first time I went out and bought 10 of one. If they had that I Am Unicorn, I would do that. I'm thinking about doing a video of my favorite Bath and Body Works products and it wouldn't necessarily be lotion. They have some other items that I really, really like. Um, like there's this candle holder that I have. There are little things like this. They're little pocket bags. So I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that, but I'm thinking about doing that. So I'm going to definitely try to use this in my hair. And if you guys are looking for a nail oil or you have this, just try it on your nails. I mean, it's emollient and it's thick. That's why sometimes I would let it sit and sometimes I would keep it on for about 15, 20 minutes before a bath. But it definitely has helped. And, oh, there was something that I forgot to mention. That's what it was I wanted to mention to you guys. I got my polish order in from Pretty Beauty Unlimited. And I had um, thought that maybe something had happened because they gave me a refund. And I don't know why she gave me a refund because both the bottles of polish that I wanted were in. So if you guys want to see these polishes swatched, I can do that. And then I can show you how I feel like that oil has helped my nails. And I watched Bonita Juanita here on YouTube. She doesn't even know who I am. Um, but it was because of her that I ordered these. There were actually four of these that I wanted, but I could only afford two at the time and they were $28. But I don't understand why I got a partial refund when I got both of the colors. One is H2O and the other one is Aquata. And they're very pretty. And this one, when she put it on, it's a very pretty shifty color. And then it looks like they too gave me some kind of oil. And then they gave me a little sweet tart chewed snacks, which I'm going to eat this because I love me some snacks. But I will come back and just do a little swatch of these for you when I get this polish off here. Um, so let me know. But these are very pretty. And again, this is by um, Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. But I do know that this is an indie person. I do know that. So um, I think this was sold out on the website. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to try these out, but they're gorgeous. But until the next time, everyone have a great evening because I'm kind of worried I've got a headache coming on here. I don't even know if I'll be able to go to work tomorrow or not. Um, but that was it. I look forward to your videos and until the next time.